Hello everyone, I'm Rachel Cable and this is Disney Cable Magic. One of the suggestions I keep seeing either in my YouTube videos or over at Instagram is that I should do a what's in your Disney bag video. I have never done one of these before, but I have watched quite a few and I find them really helpful, especially if you haven't been to the parks in a while and you're kind of like out of the swing of things. It helps you kind of like almost like a mental checklist, but it's a video checklist. I will add a little disclaimer at the beginning of this. Well, two disclaimers, I guess. First one is that this is specifically for Disneyland. When I go to Disney World, I tend to rope drop in the morning and then take long breaks back at the hotel. So I don't need to carry as much and the things I carry tend to be different. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. No, wait, there was another disclaimer and that disclaimer is my bag's not organized right now. And I'm still looking for like that perfect bag. So it's a little messy, but I'm just gonna show you what I've been bringing to the parks with me recently. So right now, this is the bag that I'm bringing to the parks. It is a Loungefly bag. I'm not a Loungefly bag collector, mostly because I find them too small for what I wanna bring into the parks, but I also don't like bringing huge backpacks. So let's see what's in it. Actually, let's start with what's outside of it. So this, um, if you've watched my recent Disneyland May 13th travel vlogs, you probably will have seen me talk about this, but I like to always have one of these on my bag. So you'll see that it's Ursula themed and it's got like this little loop with the snap button. That's to hold my ears. I love wearing mini, mini ears. I will wear them any excuse I get, but after a long day in the park, it puts a lot of pressure like right here, as I know it's a big problem for a lot of mini ear wearers. But every now and then I like to give my head a break or if I'm getting a headache, I wanna take them off, but I don't like shoving them in my bag because I don't wanna damage them or ruin them and I definitely don't wanna lose them. Oh, and then especially like if you're going on, let's say Big Thunder Mountain or Space Mountain, you wanna take these off and I like to just clip them right here to my bag. So I know they're safe, I'm not gonna lose them and I have a place to store them without them getting damaged. Right. I always bring gum with me. Uh, I don't know if you know this, I know a lot of people do, but they don't sell gum at the Disney parks. That's because Walt Disney didn't want people sticking their gum underneath like tables and dropping them on the floor. And you know, people still bring their gum into the parks, but you can't buy it in the park. So I always bring my own or mints, depending on what kind of mood I'm in. This bag also has these little pockets on the outside, which I find handy for things that I want to have quick access to, but I'm not necessarily gonna be upset if I lost. So I wouldn't put anything important in those pockets, but things like gum is okay. I also always bring a stack of band-aids. Now, if you do ever have a need for a band-aid while you're at the park, you can go to the first aid center and they'll give you one, but I like to have them on me just in case. So that is what's in those little pockets. Then I have this pocket right out here on the front. I like to keep things that I want quick access to, but um, not necessarily like my most important thing, so I won't put my wallet in there. But things like my backup battery for my camera. I carry three spare, Oops, sorry about that. I carry three of those. One of them's now on the floor, but yeah. So they just come in these like little plastic containers. Now this is a weight. So that is for balancing my camera when I have the wide angle lens and I'm using my gimbal. That's a whole different video. Balancing cameras can be quite the pain. I hate having to do it in the parks, but it does give smoother footage for when you're walking down the park. And then this is how I mount the camera to the gimbal. So I always have that right up front so that when I'm ready to use my gimbal, it's there and ready to go. I always bring a nail file with me because I cannot stand to have snag nails. And right up front, I always keep chapstick as well. I'm obsessed with chapstick. I basically apply it like 100 times a day. I can't stand having dry lips. So I make sure I always have actually two of those and there's two right in that pocket. So that's that front pocket. Now I'm gonna go into the main pocket. There is a zipped pocket inside the bag. So in there, I like to, what I actually what I do is when I've used up a battery, so I've taken the battery out of the camera, I put a new one in, let's say this is the old battery, I take it from the front pocket and I put it inside the zip pocket. Cause I don't wanna lose it, but I also don't wanna get confused on which battery is which, which one did I already use? Cause it just wastes time uh, putting a battery in and finding out that it's dead. The other thing that I like to do with my batteries is I label all of them. Do you see that one says two? So I label them in numbers. This way I can like kind of easily keep track that I use battery one, two, and I like to start my day with one kind of work forward. Just helps me keep track of things better. Okay, and here I also have some Advil and I like to buy these little travel um, containers. I get them at Target, they're only a couple bucks. 
but I just it's always good to have some painkillers like I said sorry this bag is messy so I'm trying to dig out as I go now I always carried hand sanitizer I guess it's especially important now this one's getting a little beaten up but it is from the magic candle company and this is pineapple whip it smells just like Dole Whip. it was my favorite during the last year when I couldn't go to the parks it gave me a little scent of home and it's a spray so it's really easy to use I don't bring a ton of makeup to the park so I usually just bring a few small things and this is mostly for if I'm gonna go out to dinner later in the night and I just want to freshen up or if I'm going on water rides so I've just got a few small things in there like concealer and some eyebrow stuff because as a redhead I don't have any eyebrows these are not mine next very important thing is my cell phone this is especially important now with mobile ordering um, it helps me check wait times on rides so I know where I'm gonna go next so I always make sure I have this I also use it as my main camera for taking photos mostly because it's really easy to take out and just snap a quick photo I don't have to turn it on or go to the settings and since it's I think it's an iPhone 11 Pro Max so it does take pretty decent photos and just makes my life a little easier for posting to Instagram and stuff like that or if I'm gonna go live on Instagram that's what I use so I've talked about it already so I'm gonna bring that out now and there's two parts to it I have a gimbal that I bring with me to the park so what a gimbal does so this is it I'll link all the uh, camera gear and stuff that I have I'll link it down below so if you're interested in it yourself you can find it easily um, I'm not I can never remember how to pronounce this I think it's the Zen Zian it's the crane m2 and it can handle a camera up to like 700 or 750 grams i think so you can go up to like a smaller dslr camera but you can't put like a huge lens on it so basically what this is is it allows me to attach the camera to it and then if i'm walking down main street usa or if i want to get like really smooth vertical shots or whatever um this acts as like a counterbalance and it keeps the count uh, the camera very still so I have that and the other nice thing about this is it comes with this little attachment down here which turns the gimbal into a tripod so I find that handy if I'm filming while I'm eating and I don't want to be holding the gimbal up then um, so I have my camera bag so I just I keep a lot of things in here just in case I need them and then if I'm done with my camera for the day or I want to take a break from filming, I have a safe place to put it away. Uh, one of the important things on top of uh, batteries is I need to bring memory cards. I use a 256 gigabyte memory card. Ooh, I am throwing everything on the floor. If I haven't told you already, I'm pretty clumsy. So you're definitely gonna see that the more videos you watch. But I have a few memory cards in here. I use a 256 gigabyte memory card um, just because I like to not have to change the card out if I don't have to, but I always bring extras because you never know if one of your cards is gonna get corrupted while you're in the park and I don't wanna be left without anything. So I have a few in there. And then I use a shotgun mic on my camera, but just in case I wanna use something a little bit more compact, but I want it's like windy outside, I have this little mini wind muff and that just slides right into the top of the camera. Let's see if I can get through this video without dropping everything else on the floor. I bring a brush, very, very typical of someone with long hair, I would think. Plus I liken myself to Ariel sometimes, so I like to have my dingle hopper with me. And then speaking of long hair, I always bring some scrunchies with me for those rides. Um, my hair, like I said, it's just, and this is shorter than it normally is. I don't like it whipping around my face, but more importantly, if I'm with someone, I don't like my hair smacking them in the face. I am a ginger, as I mentioned before, so I am under all this color. I'm actually really pale, so I always bring sunscreen with me. Okay, next wallet, equally as important. This isn't my normal wallet, this is my park wallet. This is also from Box Lunch. I really like these because they're quite small and they hold just the amount of cards that I need. In that, I bring a couple credit cards just in case I need them. Um, I do have them also linked to my phone so you can do like the touchless pay. And I do always bring my ID into the park. I do like to have a cocktail from time to time and Disney is very strict about IDing everyone. So make sure you have your ID with you just in case you wanna have a drink. Uh, another important thing, so this, here is especially important for those sunny days. I always have my sunglasses with me. These are my favorite pair to wear. I've had them for probably five years. I hope I never lose them. I've already lost one of my favorite pairs at Disneyland, 
but I really like these because they stay on my face so I can wear them on roller coasters and they won't fall off, but they're also not too tight that I get a headache from them. I get, I think I mentioned before in videos, I am prone to migraines. Basically anything that is a trigger, it triggers my migraines. I try to be very careful and prepared. So actually I do in my wallet carry my prescription medication just in case I need to take one throughout the day. Another thing that gives me migraines is not eating regularly. So I always bring a little snack with me to the park just in case I can't get a mobile order in quick enough or sometimes those hunger pains just hit like that and I need something quick. I don't have my pouch for these because I can't find it, but I also always bring uh, metal straws, reusable straws with me. That's because the park, uh, especially in Disney World, they're using a lot of those cardboard straws. I hate them, especially if you're like wearing chapstick because they just stick to your lips. So I bring these with me and I do have a pouch for them, but I can't find it right now. So I, I promise I won't just stick them in my bag like that. And then a new thing that I've been bringing to the parks is Dramamine. All right, I'm almost down to the bottom of my bag. So this is the bigger one up and this is for my shotgun mic but when it's windy outside it is always important to have these on your mics like I said you can definitely tell the difference between when I'm not using it and when I am and this is a lifesaver it is all it is ridiculous it looks ridiculous on the camera but it just makes all of your footage usable especially if you're talking and then my newest gadget which I'm really excited about is my new GoPro so there it is and I have it attached to the wrist uh, band right now. I use this for the roller coaster rides mostly because I did try to film, I think, Goofy's uh, Sky School on my current vlogging camera and the footage was just a little shaky. And since I do suffer from migraines, I find that watching shaky footage triggers migraines for me and I wanna be respectful for anyone that's watching this video. I don't wanna trigger migraines in anyone else, so I do, want to keep the footage as smooth as possible and after researching it seems like this is the way to go but also be really handy on the water rides so um, whenever you see roller coaster footage coming up or water ride footage it's going to be on this it's also really great for taking photos because the photo quality is pretty good on it and it's really easy to switch between video and photos it's a little bit harder on my vlogging camera and it's just always good to have a second camera when you are filming in the parks because I might run out of batteries completely for that or I might have issues with that camera. Well, I've got a really decent backup as well. And the other great thing is it's really tiny so it doesn't take up that much room in my bag. So yeah, that is everything that's in my bag and I'm gonna use my phone to show you my camera because that is also in my bag to start the day. All right, so this is my vlogging camera. You can see me right there, hello. I'm using the Sony ZV-1. It is a camera specifically designed for vlogging. It is really great, I'm loving it so far. I also have the Rode shotgun mic attached to the top that gives better uh, sound quality. And then I'm using an attachment to attach a wide angle lens to the camera as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you'd like to see an updated version of this video for the Disney World trip that I'm going on next year, let me know in the comments and I will definitely do my best to include that later on this year or early next year. And I hope that this video helped you pack your park bag for the next time you head there. Anyway, this is Disney Cable Magic. If you're enjoying these videos, please hit the subscribe button so that you can come along with me on all the adventures. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. And remember, magic is out there.